okay so you know there's the, the production models will be will will have some variants from this uh, for example you, the, the crankcase is silver on this one that will be gloss black so it'll all be integral and all look in one color handmade radiator on this believe it or not it's all hand welded uh, large capacity air box uh, taking up as much space as it possibly can always good for performance you've got magneti morelli fuel injection the, the cylinder head comprises of twin cam, four valve. Um, it's quite a, a revy motor in terms of its power output, uh, producing peak power at uh, 9,500 RPM, which uh, when you compare the, um, the competition there, roughly around 7,300. So you know, it wants to rev, it feels a little bit like a two-straw really when it, when it gets going. It seems to have an extra power band. You get to around 60 mile an hour and you think it's all done, and you'll get a second wave of performance just kick in. Scamardi commissioned PM Tuning to undertake the design and development of this particular exhaust system. As you can see we had to adopt uh, quite an unusual shape to what you normally see in order to have the system sit within the panel restraints. Um, the system uh, is catalyzed uh, and developed with a sporty sound in mind. Um, what we say, it's got digital ignition system, uh, uh, good sized uh, rectifier on there, get the heat away, um, all prominently positioned for optimum cooling, twin shock, uh, disc brake rear, the disc brake on the rear is around 10 millimeters bigger than the 125, uh, you've got efficient water cooling which is uh, integrated on the lower side of the bodywork, uh, you've got a Venturi system design on there where we've got a fan which sucks rather than pushes and that's much more effective in terms of its airflow and its airstream covering the radiator so it's got a very efficient means of cooling on there. In terms of performance the combination of the newly designed airbox and exhaust system um, gives an additional three quarters of a horsepower over the original um, exhaust system that was configured for this, uh, this particular engine. Right. Some extra features on the 200 which you won't see on the air cooled 125. Uh, firstly is the, you may have noticed this, eco and sport button as it describes you've got economy mode which allows the best fuel mileage and sport mode which throws in a predefined map for sportier performance. That's, that's switchable on the fly so you can select whichever mode you want whilst you're moving. Moving over to the clock you'll see it's a little bit different to the air cooled model. You've got the warning lights which obviously indicate a low and, low and main beam. You've got an engine fault light which is uh, mandatory or definitely needed for, for diagnostics for, saying, for, 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 for coming up with fault codes on the ECU or anything to do with the injection system. You have an ABS light which will be, which will be um, commissioned once the, these vehicles are fitted with ABS from Bosch. Uh, a low oil uh, warning light uh, and obviously the indicator for the right hand side. Along the top here if I start it might demonstrate a little bit better. We've got tachometer which measures the RPM on the left. We've got your fuel gauge which is indicated in, in these LCD LED bars, should I, uh, LCD bars and then above that you'll see a H and a C which is the water temperature. Obviously the machine's cold at the moment so you've only got one bar. Your other functions are you've got trip, um, you've got distance covered total um, and this can be configured for miles per hour or kph. Your speed hour is read in, uh, in these two digits you can see above the odometer.